Welcome to SystemControlTech.com. In this video, we're going to talk about reducing energy usage and saving money by automatically resetting the supply temperature of your hot water system. Our hot water systems are much like the water heaters in our home. There are times when the water is not needed, but it is available and it costs us both in energy usage as well as in money to maintain those higher water temperatures but we can reduce that amount of energy usage as well as save money by just a little bit of control logic set up in our system what we're going to be doing is automatically calculating the hot water supply temperature based upon its demand as well as outside air. There are some basic steps that we can do that will help us in reducing the usage. The first thing that we have to do is create a few basic logic points within our Metasys extended architecture software. Here you can see that we have a few analog values that we have created. Very simple step, simply what we will do to create those is we will simply highlight the location where we would like to create those. We would insert an object. From our list, we would then choose analog value. And of course we're not going to create anything now because we already have those and once we create each of these points we will then create a logic control system to bring all of these points as well as a few others together the first thing that we do here is we create a hot water temp high limit this is going to be the maximum temperature that our system is going to be allowed to calculate to the hot water temp low limit is going to be the lowest temperature that we're going to allow the system to calculate to and we're also going to create an unoccupied hot water supply temp set point when our air handlers and VAV system is unoccupied it is not necessary to maintain a high water temperature simply to have hot water setting waiting to be used by lowering that temperature we can drastically reduce the utility usage but through the logic we will ramp that system back up whenever the demand is needed now in this control loop a few other points that we have pulled in is whether or not our air handler is running we simply have an input reference here that looks at the air handlers if we're calling for our air handlers to be on, which you see here is zero, which means that it is not, we go through this switch. What this switch does, based upon the condition of our air handler, it will either adjust the hot water supply temp to a calculated value or to the unoccupied hot water set point. What we will do automatically through the switch, when the air handlers come occupied, we will then recalculate the hot water temperature, raise the hot water temperature if necessary, and bring our building up to a comfortable temperature level. You can use a system something like this to calculate your hot water temperature based upon the amount of reheat that the system is calling for. In this particular building we're looking at outside air temperature instead. We have a few variable points that are basically the temperature range of our outside air temperature that we want this hot water system to calculate through. When we are at 40 degrees outside we want to be at our maximum hot water set point of 140 degrees. When we're at 60 degrees or above, we want this system to drop down to its minimum. When we are in between those two temperature ranges, we want the system simply to calculate 
a value that will adequately supply enough hot water to the system. You can see here the two differing values between what is being calculated and our set point. You can see the function of the switch by the zero keeping us looking at our set point. The air handlers are not running. The switch sees that it needs to be looking at this input, which it is, and it is passing that input value to our hot water temperature set point. If our air handlers were running, then this calculated value would be passed to the set point. I hope this gives you a brief glimpse at how to use the logic available to help with your hot water reset. This can dramatically reduce your energy consumption and help lower your utility costs. For more information, visit my blog at systemcontroltech.com.